Welcome back to CIEgroup.com. We're over at ISE in Barcelona 2023 on the 2N stand, joined again by Gareth Robinson. If you want to talk about 2N products, the man who's got all the latest information is Gareth. Gareth, thanks for joining us again. Thanks for having me. And we're going to talk about the IP Verso 2.0. For me, it looks exactly the same as the last one. I know there's a lot going on inside. Before we talk about the upgrades to the 2.0, let's just talk about the concept of the IP Verso. Yeah, sure. Well, of course, IP Verso has been our enormously successful, highly modular, highly flexible intercom, and indeed our flagship intercom right up until the release of, uh, of our uh, IP style. And I think the reason that it's been so successful, as I mentioned, is, is its extreme adaptability and flexibility. Uh, it's able to work with a range of up to 16 different modules. So what that means is you can uh, adapt and adjust to the needs of the installation of the client by swapping out the mod modules that are uh, part of the intercom to match those needs. So whether it is starting off with some buttons and a RFID uh, reader, and then perhaps some more offices open in the building, you want to switch to a touch display, no need to swap out the whole intercom, just change the module for the buttons to the touch display and give you uh, access to a much bigger directory in that small space. Same thing with the, uh, the access modules. Again, it might be that one of these went in five years ago, six, seven years ago to a building, where it's really more about RFID as a credential technology. But now that we're seeing this increased shift to mobile access, mobile credentials, again, you don't need to change the actual device itself. Instead, you can swap out a module for one which supports uh, more innovative credentials like those mobile credentials. So it's definitely still loved, still appreciated by our customers. And as you mentioned, it's an important point actually that it doesn't look any different to the IP Verso because it, on the outside, it isn't. And that carries some benefits. It means that those who are familiar with installing and operating, managing IP Verso, are going to know exactly what they're doing with the IP Verso 2.0. Installation's exactly the same. The, the, the um, dimensions are exactly the same. The frames exactly the same. Everything except uh, what's inside on the uh, on the main unit. So let's talk about those upgrades then, and, and let's talk about what is new because we are looking at existing components here, existing modules. It's this part here. Yeah. This is this is the Verso 2.0. Yeah. What are the upgrades that are all inside that we can't see at first sight? Yeah. Okay. So uh, you you touched again on a really uh, important point actually. As you said, these modules are the same as we would use for the Verso One, so that it's compatible with exactly the same module range. But what's the magic inside here is again that we've adopted the powerful ARPEG 7 processor platform from our parent company Axis. So that's what features in all the powerful um, cutting edge IP cameras that Axis provide. And it enables us to, uh, to give a reboot, to give a boost to the performance of the IP Verso. So now with the same kind of uh, form factor and all the advantages of the flexibility, you can enjoy full HD video, wide dynamic range, uh, and also we're able to provide other advanced features thanks to that uh, increased processor capability. So I think it's really key, Gareth, that what we talk about is with the new 2.0, we don't need new frames, we don't need new modules, we don't need new access modules. All of the existing products, all of the existing modules and components from the Verso 1 are fully compatible with Verso 2? Yes, yeah, absolutely, yeah. So uh, if you've got a stock of uh, existing modules, they'll be fully compatible. In fact, there aren't modules aimed only at the Verso 2.0. It's for, From our perspective, it's the same platform. It's just that the main unit has this uh, increased uh, processing capability with the ARPEG 7 platform. So where it's needed to have those uh, advanced functionality, like I mentioned, HD video, uh, the wide dynamic range, and the other advanced functions that it brings, that's where you might go for the Verso 2.0 over, uh, over the IP Verso. And therefore, as well as, as for new installs, you could actually retrofit it into an existing Verso version one yes. installation within the frame. Yeah, absolutely, yes. Yeah. So you'd be, um, you'd be changing out the main unit behind, but you keep the same frame, the same modules, and in doing so, you'd be bringing on uh, the full HD video, the wide dynamic range. As I mentioned, there are some other advanced functions that it brings as well, like advanced motion detection. And of course, because of the increased power of the ARPEG 7 processor, means it's also able to handle uh, QR code access. So perfectly suited to self-serve access into an office building, or if it's a residential block with visitors that they can use uh, a QR code to let themselves in at the front door. Colors and versions, with, without camera, silver and black, uh, so again, uh, because it's the same platform as the Verso, the same variants uh, are available. So silver and black, 
Um, we wouldn't do this one uh, without the camera because the whole purpose of the Verso 2.0 is that, uh, that more powerful processor, which really comes to life with the, the camera functionality. And when are we going to see it in 2023? So we should expect uh, this to launch uh, in the summer this year. So uh, while you're uh, sunning yourself on the beach, look out for the good news that Verso 2.0 has hit the market. Coming to the UK very, very soon, available from cieegroup.com.